Today, I'm going to exploit these lovable morons to make myself absolutely rich. We currently have a dog, aptly named Idiot, of which 2.17 billion exist in this universe. Now as far as I can understand, you put them to work mining stuff for you. This guy's gonna work on these crystals for a while. And he looks pretty excited about that. We'll get him some friends eventually so we can mine faster. All I want to do is simply expand my labor force. And I just got my gift, a glitch dragon which is rare. Alright, well this rare dragon, 112 million of them exist. So I guess it's all about finding the rarest pet today, but I've got two idiots now to help uh, exploit some of this stuff. We'll take those and these two are going to work away on these coins. Oh, wow, does that ever go faster thanks to that rare dragon? So suddenly I can afford a whole bunch of things because I got $114,000. Again, not entirely sure how we got here, but this dragon I got from somewhere really makes us easier. So we're definitely going to go chasing some harder to find things today. I've ranked up to master. I've ranked up to legend, even though I'm just clicking on a few things here and there. I do appreciate how fast I go through this game. I'm just not sure why it's happening as quick as it is. I've even ranked up to immortal and I've been playing this for all of four minutes. Who wouldn't want a giant box full of coins? We tear through that in no time at all. Those are unlocked, but I can buy $9,000 eggs for now. I have 2.2 million, so we might as well start with the cheap ones. This one was a basic golden chicken and a basic golden cow. I'm just going to open these for a few minutes to see what happens. Basic golden cow, because maybe we can get something rare. Maybe we can turn it into something better. And I think it just uh, automatically puts on the best of them. Or maybe it doesn't. I'm assuming the higher the number, the better. So if we take a 21 and put a 30 on, we're all the better for it. Because this one is 2.01 billion, so he's a little bit ahead. Not sure how we unlock better pets, but we'll find that out together. So I just walked up to this thing and got triple damage boost, triple coins boost. So clearly it wants me to do better. Okay, we can just click all sorts of different pets on different things now because we have four pets. I had another gift ready. It's a pile of money. Now we're up to uh, $5 billion already. And we've unlocked the cave, the uh, <laughs> glacier, and the desert. For $250, we have a 13% chance to uh, turn a dog into a golden dog. He was our very first pet. And I think we just vaporized him. Uh, lesson learned, since we have so much money, uh, I'm going to walk through this uh, field of coins and treasure and then we're going to move on to a better area because I think we've probably moved past this one. I feel like an absolute destroyer and I've done very little except basically spawn into this game and click on a few things. And I've ranked up the godlike already. I don't even know how to play this game yet, but I'm godlike. Okay, well we're going to go through here. It's only $10,000 to unlock. I have $6.5 billion. So presumably the pals of stuff are worth even more here. Uh, which is going to be good for me because I'm feeling a little poor these days. But I should also be able to buy newer pets. There's an entire safe on the ground. I'm sure this is worth big money and we already broke it. So I can increase everything here using these. I don't know how many times I want to do these because I don't really know how valuable these things are. More storage couldn't hurt. Player speed is a big one for sure. I'm assuming the bigger things are the better. That's usually how things go in life. Okay, since we're very rich, let's move on to the next area, 75,000 coins, which is like a tiny, tiny fraction of how much we really have. This station, we can fuse pets together. So how many can we put together? That many? Yeah, let's see what happens. We got Josh, a black bear. He's basic and golden. There's 131 million of him in existence, so he's not exactly rare. But I'm pretty sure if I go back to the beginning now, I'll be able to buy new pets again. I just got to go all the way back there. I just got another gift from waiting and that put us up to 30 billion dollars. This is really a game where you have to do absolutely nothing to get ahead. But we'll find a way to force this so it works. Okay, we're up to eggs that cost a million dollars each. So that's better than it was. So we'll open like 10 million dollar eggs. We'll spend at least 10 million on golden duckies. Because I know eventually we're going to get something rare. Just the odds are there. I've also finally just realized that I can actually warp around. So this is the spawn world I'm in. Then we can go to the fantasy world and tech world, the void, and there's a long ways to go. Long story short, this is what we got. There's nothing particularly rare or exciting there. But since we jumped so far ahead anyway, we are going to take our pets and move on to new areas. I'm also going to fuse all of my uh, golden duckies together. And yes, that is a euphemism. That way I just have to click less on things. That's up to 652, so that'll be fine. I just need to remember to restock some uh, gems when I can. Luckily, we tear through them very quickly. Okay, I just unlocked this area for $400,000. I also want a hoverboard because it's tiring to walk around. Okay, that's a little better and more fun. Uh, this area should get me bigger rewards for everything we break. Like here's a big treasure chest, probably full of quite a bit of gold compared to what we're used to. And this will get us more coins. Okay, this next area costs 1.25 million, which is still pretty cheap. We're just going to cruise on through this. We'll take out the big stuff when we're here. 
We'll definitely take the gems and the big vaults because we tear through them in no time. Then we're just going straight to this next area, 5.5 million. This area costs 7.5 billion somethings. I don't know what these are. 7.5 billion fantasy coins. I don't think I have any fantasy coins. I don't know what those are. I did also get another gift for playing for 10 minutes. So that's obviously going to be worth like billions of trillions of dollars. Yeah, it's worth a hundred billion dollars now. The game is just giving away progress. There's no point staying in an areas like this. We have a hundred billion dollars. So I might as well keep cruising on to bigger, better, badder areas. Unless we find something fun to click on along the way. Like it's hard when there's piles of gold and gems everywhere. I just want to stop and click on everything because I feel like I'm missing out by not doing this. Okay, this next area is $50 million. That would have been expensive when we started, and they're getting finally more expensive. This next one's $250 million, which is still laughably easy for us to afford. Oh, we get to fire out of a cannon. Is that right? Great. Fantasy world, where I live in real life. So here we can buy new eggs, but they require a different currency that I don't have a lot of yet, so we actually have to start mining now. So for now, I'm going to take my Arctic Fox and enchant it for $10,000. That's probably a really stupid idea in hindsight, but pets earn 50% more cartoon coins. There's only 32 million of these in existence, so that's actually getting rarer. Okay, now i got to put them to work mining these things. It's definitely still pretty quick. So I think we're going to be all right money-wise. Every time I touch anything, it tells me I can now afford something new. I have already made 300,000 of this new currency, so we're able to buy some new pets and also a new area. So we're going to start with a new area, which can take us to all sorts of places, apparently. 85,000 fantasy coins to go here? Sure, why not? So this area is even better. I'm going to get really lost, but the better the area we go to, the more we're going to get from everything we click on. And I'm clicking a lot today. Okay, we now have a million of this new currency, so we'll be able to buy some new pets very soon. And there's a giant chest on top of the pyramid on three times coins, so that's probably going to make me... Yeah, that was millions and millions of coins, and it's still going. We were at like 2 million coins, I think. Now we're at 15 million. And another chest just dropped, so we could, in theory, just sit here and mine this. All right, well, we're definitely very rich. We should probably buy new pets, but I feel like we constantly enter new areas, so buying new pets seems weird because we're going to, like, progress past them right away. So we'll buy this for 525000 but then we're going to go right past it probably because this is 3.5 million, and we should probably be able to afford this one still, 18 million, and this one we're going to open for 66 million. So we're going to spend a few minutes here mining. There's also more chests here. Those are going to be absolutely ridiculous. I think these are normally supposed to be really hard to mine through. Yeah, they've got, like, 25 billion health, but we have that super super pet that was just gifted to us or wherever it came from so we can actually mine these things and this by itself is probably going to make us pretty rich. I was just informed that the server triple coin boost has ended. I'm not sure if that was just for me or everyone. Uh, that might explain why we were making as much money as we were. I feel like we're still going to be okay though. Each one of these individual coins I pick up is millions of coins. Millions. All right, well, we'll take the bag of money and everything else that comes with it. We now have half a uh, half a billion of these coins. So we can buy hell eggs now for only $90 million. And that's obviously a pretty good deal to me. So we're going to get a few of these and see what exactly these things do for us. Because these are really expensive. A golden hell rock. And there's a chick. And another one of those. But they do have a lot of mining power. We're going to swap those two around. Because that's going to help us mine new stuff. This costs $150 million to open. We can afford it. Heaven. So now that we're here, we probably want to open those big guys over there. We don't need to open these little ones. We have four pets now, so this should be a little bit quicker. And we ranked up to impossible already. I can't wait to see what's inside of this. We're even making money sitting here. There's $23 million. If I move around a little bit, there's $50 million. Give me what's in here. There we go. There's... I don't know where we started at, but... Probably a few hundred million dollars easy enough, and 777 million to go through that door. So after breaking this, we're going from 430 million all the way up to 510 million. So yeah, there's 100 million in that chest. And we have a server event for insane luck for 10 minutes, so I assume that means whatever we break is going to be more valuable and opening eggs also. So breaking the chest this time, we're going from 670 million. There's definitely some goodie bags there. Uh, this one was definitely closer to 150 million. But since we do have the insane luck, maybe we should try buying some new pets. Why, these ones are only 270 million. How could I not? That's actually reasonably expensive, even though I'm completely loaded. Can I have something rare? There's a basic golden angel dog. Sounds lovely. And another one of those. I thought we had good luck. Can I get like the 0.2% one? There we go. Golden heavenly peacock epic. 
uh, that's a 0.2% chance of happening. So that is actually like one in 500. So it's definitely better. It mines 1.8 million. It's still not my super dragon thing, but it's definitely good. Oh no, it mines 4.4 million. So it's five times better than these other basic idiots I was using. I'm also going to uh, use eight pets moving forward. We're just going to mine a little quicker this way. So now I can equip my new ones and uh, then we'll be good to go. I don't know if that's really actually going to make that big of a difference because my glitch dragon is still so much stronger. Because we're mining through like billions and they've got to be in the billions to make a difference. So using that knowledge, we're just going to mine a few of these big chests and move through the big expensive door. Okay, I just made enough to go through this. I'm assuming that whatever's on the other side is a new currency anyway. Or a really, really, really big winged chest. So we'll go ahead and tear through this. It has 1 trillion health. I also have a gift. This will take a minute to mine through, but I have a feeling that once we get through this, something really good is going to happen. I mean, a treasure chest that big can't have something boring in it. It actually seems like a really good time to use all these boosts that I was uh, gifted somewhere. So 20 minute triple coins, uh, 20 minute, 30 minute triple damage, and super lucky for 20 minutes. Yeah, why not? So that means this thing's going to drop all the quicker. Uh, I also bought something that I can absorb uh, coins and diamonds from a lot farther away, so we're just going to get richer easier. We're up to 4 billion uh, this currency. Alright, it's just about to open. Finally, what do we got? Holy chest is complete, and we got billions of dollars out of there. And apparently that was really about it. I can spend 3 billion dollars on an Empyrean egg, uh, and I think I've got a luck boost on these anyway, so we'll see what this gives us. 3.15 billion. Please be something amazing. Epic golden this thing. Uh, but how good is it? It's worth 10 million, so it's 15 times what the pet I just unequipped was. It has two gold stars above its head even. Okay, I've gone back to the uh, uh, basic level, so we're going to get more diamonds because that's a good investment. We're going to get more pet strength because that just can't hurt. Pet speed is also very important. Now, to go to tech world, we need 7.5 billion of these things, and I have 6.4 billion. We needed 7.5 billion. Uh, we've got more. We have 8.6 billion left over after doing that. Okay, now we gotta open whatever this is. Uh, five uh, quadrillion, I believe. Uh, even my pets that do billions, we cannot get anywhere near that. So we've got some mining to do. Uh, apparently I can afford to buy the metal egg. I've landed here with a hundred and fifteen thousand dollars somehow. I presume I want to buy the more expensive egg to start, so I'm going to. It's a basic golden cyborg panda. I accept. Maybe we'll buy one of these basic idiots too because we can afford it. Cyborg ducky. But are they actually good or not? They're very good actually. Okay, so we're going to uh, unlock the bottom two and replace them with the better two. And I still have a lot of boosts going, so we'll just put ourselves back to work. As long as I have my super pet that I got at the beginning, we'll be fine. We've already made almost 100,000 coins, which means we can definitely unlock this new area and we're going to unlock new pets as we go. The more expensive areas we unlock, the better pets we get. That was also a 25 times coin boost, so that was stupid in itself. We can buy golden titanium eggs. This is five times diamonds. We're getting all sorts of loot. It's kind of like a treasure hunt now because now I'm trying all the different piles of coins to see if any of them have boosters on them because it's well worth it to find the boosters rather than just basic piles of coins. Uh, I think the ones that are special actually have coins sticking out of them like that. So all I got to do is look for uh, the coin rain. Like this, presumably. Yeah, that's five times diamonds. So that's a lot of diamonds. This is going to have a boost. That's going to have a boost. This is going to have a boost. And the next area is only 625,000. Only. That is half my money, but we'll make that back in no time at all. I still think it's faster just if I have this just the one pet because he's so much better than the rest of them combined. I'm just going to send him out there. That way he's always on something and he's always mining a lot. This will be a big one. Five times coins on a vault. My boosters also won't last forever, but I will probably have to buy new ones because I'm addicted to this kind of progress now. It's just constant upgrades and I'm all for that. Okay, I've got enough to get into the new area. I don't think there's been any players in here for quite a while, so that means when I see these piles of coins, uh, I can definitely take advantage and get a big booster. This is a small stack of coins, but that looks like a big booster. Yeah, that's a 10 times. And I definitely want to mine 3 times, 5 times, 10 times as much as I can. Uh, even for this super pet, some of these are getting really, really expensive to mine through. And we have competition, so they're going to get some of the multipliers also. So at this point, I am going to put some of the other pets back on because they can be mining other stuff in the background. They're still pretty good at 1 million. But to put that into perspective, there is 7 pets on this and 1 pet on this. And this one's going through billions, like 3, 4 at a time. This one is a billion every 10, 20 seconds. So... 
They've only mined halfway through this while the other pet was basically, like, you see the difference? This pet is still, like, a hundred times better than the rest of them combined. So we definitely need to go uh, unlock some better pets. I'm also going to start buying some of these to give me a uh, chance of magic, chance of mythical, chance of shinies, all of the above. These are all so expensive that they've got to be worth it. And there's also one for a secret pet. That one's mega expensive. Okay, we've unlocked some very expensive pets, most of which we can't afford. So for now, I'm going to open one $5 million pet and see what exactly comes out of this and how good it is. Uh, 48.5 million is really good. So we're going to replace one for 2 million. So yeah, that's uh, getting closer to the glitched dragon at least. Yeah, even that's 36 million. So that's many times better than its next little pet. And they're getting closer and closer to the super pet. So that definitely means we're going to start mining through these quicker, even without the super pet involved. I'm actually going to equip all but the three best anyway, just because the other ones are non-factors at this point, really. Even with these super pets, it now takes a while to mine through one of these. And this is with a bunch of boosts on, so we're definitely going to need some better pets. But this will hopefully make me quite rich. Okay, I've got $30 million. I need to buy five pets. So we're looking to spend about $6 million per pet if possible. Five million works. We're just going to buy five of these and they should be a massive increase over what I have now. Uh, the reverse dog, the uh, rainbow one, actually is $371 million, So it's one-sixth of our super pet, which is actually huge at this point. But look at the billions drop now. They're at almost $10 billion per second between all the pets. I've been going around a little bit, clicking on these smaller stacks because they're easier to mine through and therefore they'll hopefully get respawned with higher luck things. Just like this little guy, I think that's only a three times, but once it mines down, we'll actually get quite a bit of value out of it. Yeah, that gave me two and a half million all by itself, and now it's just a little thing. Okay, we've got enough to unlock this area. I'm going to go in because look at all those piles of coins sitting there. They're glowing gold. Like This is going to be worth so much money. It's five times coins. And it by itself is going to be worth, yeah, uh, six million. So a tenth of the money we just spent to get here already. So we just got to knock down these and we'll be in good shape. They do take a second to mine through, but we'll be able to afford way better pets with this. Uh, the next door costs 350 million or 2.25 billion. So we're definitely going to need better pets. So what we're going to do now is buy two $24 million of these eggs. We could buy gold, but they're like five times the price. This one is 549 million. So it's actually one quarter of my super pet at this point. So if we can just get a few more of these, we'll really be in good shape. Maybe we should also be able to hold 15 pets. So now I can just straight up add some of these to what I already have. So we're going to be all the better. Actually, uh, things this low I'm not going to add on because they're pretty useless for now anyway. So then it's just a matter of mining away for a couple minutes all the uh, stacks of coins. Ooh, we're making money back quick. We've been here for like 30 seconds and we made another $50 million already. The openings now is two and a half trillion. And I seem to have made a friend, so <laughs> shout out to this guy. I can know if I afford to buy the golden alien egg, I should hope for so for 220 million of this currency. But we did just break that and that by itself gave us 13 million. So what can we buy for 230 million? We could buy the golden alien. Should we try that? Might as well. 260 million dollars for a single idiot. Please be rainbow or something amazing. It's a basic. But it is another 549 billion, so it's still worth a quarter of my super pet. Out of curiosity, I'm gonna buy this for 15 million to see what we get out of it and how good it is. It's a rare golden crocodile, which is actually 124 million, so I should be opening more of these cheap eggs when I get a chance. And look what's here to greet us on our return. This thing's going to be 100 times coins. This is going to be so ridiculous. This is going to make us rich by itself. I didn't even know 100 coins 100 times could exist. That's going to take us from 48 uh, million to 300, 400, 500, 600. Wow, that was such a rare find. That gave us almost a billion currency. A billion. Uh, yeah, it gave us way over a billion. I... Uh, I Okay, I don't even know what to say about that. That was like winning the lottery. I could almost afford to open this now. So we're just going to open a few more things. Then we're going to hatch some very, very expensive pets and go to big sparkly land. Uh, that's only a three times, I think. Okay, we're just going to go ahead and open this area because it seems cheap now. And uh, then we're going to get in the way of this guy and annoy him by picking up some of our own giant pals of stuff. Like this. This is only a three times, but it's going to give me a lot of coins. Look at all that fun stuff. I want the big glowy chests. And then we're finally going to break this and that's going to give us 30, 40, 50 million, which isn't as much as I'd hoped for, but that's okay. We're still pretty rich regardless. In fact, we're so rich that we could either buy a whole bunch of these or one of these super expensive ones. Oh, these are glitch eggs. So this is what my idiot actually is right now. My original idiot came from here. So let's buy three of these. 
with my luck, we got another glitch dragon, so that was our best pet so far. Now we have two of them. And now we have one of these. And actually, I have five, uh, $600 million, so I can buy even one more of these. We can replace a 10 million with 1.13 billion. Oh, and this one's 6.35 billion. This is three times as good as my best pet was. So 36 million becomes uh, 6 billion. And I finally managed to open one of those things. That's worth uh, 270 million coins just from one container. After a very, very long time, I finally saved up the 4.5 billion. I need to open that thing. So it's going to feel so good to spend all of my hard-earned money just opening a door. But we're going to do it anyway because look at all these big chests. Okay, where was this a few minutes ago? This is going to make me so rich in an instant that it's almost stupid. It turns out these big chests are 3.5 quadrillion, so it would take a long time for me to mine through those of my current pets. Now this giant 100 times block will take us all the way from 350 million. 9.6 billion out of that. And it's sad there was another 100 times sitting here, it just despawned. But for the kind of money we just got, we can buy the most expensive $4.5 billion eggs and we can buy them twice. So we got a basic golden glitch cat, which is really bad luck. <laughs> and a second one of those because we don't have any luck. Then we can buy two of these at least. But the best of which is still $3.65 billion, so that's a huge upgrade still. So if you need me, I'll be here for the next 45 weeks trying to open this thing.